my first life, as I call it. I was an international winemaking consultant. I grew up in the Barossa Valley. I spent a lot of time traveling, been to our 65 countries around the world. It was in May 2014. I was coming back from the country and I'd filled up a jerry can of fuel and I had that in the back of the car. There was also a phone charger that was in contact with the jerry can. A few holes and little pinpricks in the, in the jerry can that I was unaware of. And then a static electricity spark was activated. All of a sudden there was this enormous petrol explosion, the woof sound, and this yellow flame just completely enveloped me. As a result of the accident, I received 75% burns to my body, of which 49% were full thickness third degree burns. So I was then taken to the Royal Adelaide Hospital where John Greenwood and his team then started working on me. They, I think they worked for, I think there was about six guys who worked on me for about nine hours on the first night. It was basically a year process to get back upright and learn to walk and, 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 and learn to do everything again. I studied in Manchester in the UK. I was headhunted here in 2001 to run the burn service at the Royal Adelaide. It wasn't long after being here that um, the Bali bombings occurred, so we were dispatched to Darwin in the aftermath of the bombings. That was a particularly harrowing experience, and so in a way that was my one insight into how the BTM subsequently would be of, of great value. So when John came in, he was already in the emergency department. His burns were very extensive. There was 75% of his body. Basically, we have to remove deep burn very early after the burn has actually occurred. The problem with that is it leaves very deep wounds. And in the case of very extensive burns, it leaves very large wounds. And in looking for the scaffold, I was fortunate enough to find polynoma. Professor Greenwood came to us with a number of ideas that he'd had back in 2004 and wanted to explore different synthetic applications for large burn products that could stabilise wounds and, and the one that really progressed was BTM. BTM is an integratable foam matrix that provides a scaffold to rebuild soft tissue and the lower levels of the skin, known as the dermis. It's implanted into a full thickness wound and subsequently biodegrades and is absorbed or metabolised or excreted by the body. My parents gave the authority for them to go ahead with BTM. It was all explained to them. They'd gone through a few of the sort of clinical trials and things, but they needed a, a burn survivor. I was the first one in the world that fitted criteria. And you could sort of see results quite quickly. It was in ground zero and basically you get a new life again. What the material is, is as simple as it can possibly be. A two millimetre thick foam with a seal on the top, all completely synthetic. The polyurethane can be attacked by water molecules, and so tissue can grow in and through the little connections so it fills the whole of the foam structure. Blood vessels will develop and grow in at the same time as fibroblasts invade. They adhere to the polymer and they start to lay down collagen and glycosaminoglycan it becomes integrated into the bed of the wound, so it forms a new tissue. The polyurethane film on top of the BTM acts like an epidermis, and the tissue has filled the material, and when we have either skin graft available or CCS available to put on top, then we remove that seal. It's just the perfect substrate for whatever you need to do next. We think the potential for this product is enormous. We look at it as being a scaffold that can be used for rebuilding soft tissue, whether that be cartilage, muscle, tendon. We're looking at the moment primarily at hernia repair and we have a number of other applications in the pipeline.
What we are finding with BTM is patients with burns of 60, 70, 80% who are surviving and surviving with a good functional outcome. You can go to your daughter's wedding and walk her down the aisle. You can go back to work and have all your work colleagues cheer you when you arrive back. And so what you, what you try to do really is get them back to living and functioning. The fact that it has improved my quality of life, I know that that is going to replicate for the thousands and thousands of other people in the future, and that is a good feeling. I can never repay John and his team what, what they've done, but you, you don't need to try, you just need to then go on and, and live your life, and that, that's a really, really wonderful thing. To me, it's like finding penicillin or something. It's such a significant medical input, and it's taken another quantum leap, and you just wonder where, where this will go. So I actually find that it is changing outcomes in the US, in the UK, and in Europe. It will definitely change burn practice globally. There is a paradigm shift, and that shift is in large part down to BTM.